A few days back, I measured up this uh, this fixture or the frame um, of a fixture, and what the client was going to do is in each of the corners, they had some posts that they were going to attach to this to hold an upper plate or something. But what they wanted to do was to measure this base plate first as it was on this uh, this welded frame or this welded base just to see how flat it was. So I did an alignment to this and looked at the table plane and here is the the measured data from the from the plane that I measured up there. So uh, they had a 10 thou tolerance of flatness on here but they were questioning gosh that's close to 10 thou where is that variation coming from or is it um, is it something that we can see in the plate and uh, and how is that going to affect each of the four corners where these posts will be attached so it was super easy when I can show the deviation vectors and that's what I wanted to show you guys today is how easy that is to show and just how powerful that is so under this table plane um, the measured points that I've got out there if I go and I right click on it and I do a view and I go to this this option here which is the deviations and then I restore them what that does is that will take a, um, a deviation or a color map of each one of the points that are being used in this um, in this table plane so each one of the data capture points are uh, are looking as whiskers here or deviation vectors I do have the base and the top as separates here and I want to show you this I'm going to hide the base so you can see the variation in the corners and what it looks like is there is a little bit of a twist on this plate these two corners appear high because you can see the vector of deviation or the direction it's pointing there and then these two look like they are low because they are pointing in the downward direction so that's very very easy for my client to see that warp or that twist on the panel based on those measured points the way though that you can see these deviation vectors a little bit bigger or smaller you can adjust their size based on this right here if you go to this object display options we'll click on him and then right over here under the features I've got the deviation scaling factor I've got that made 10,000 here this is kind of big so if you wanted to make that a little bit smaller maybe 5,000 times of what the deviation is and then we hit the enter there you can see they will decrease just by a little bit if I uh, if I change that amount there so I'll go back over here and then the other cool thing about this is if you wanted to show what the values of each of those deviations were you select here and then you can see it here each one of those measured points now has a value that red is a little bit hard to see in that font there but you get the idea here that each one of these values now of these probed points will take on a value so it's easy to take a uh, take a look at this with my client and say yep we see a little bit of twist or you can say that the min and the max will be close to adding up to that 8.7 thou and it looks like that's showing up here from this low point and from this corner being a little bit high.